I'm The Voice, and this is the alpha demo of XRouter, the Internet of Blockchains protocol by BlockNet and Saya, the decentralized storage platform. The first thing you want to do is make sure you install the BlockNet wallet, either the GUI or command line. In this case, we're going to be using the GUI on Windows, but it's also available for Mac and Linux. We need to make sure our wallet is synced completely before we get started. And if you'd like to expedite this, you can use the available bootstrap in the BlockNet GitHub. All the links will be available below, and they are also on the blocknet.co website. Now we're going to actually communicate directly with the SIA blockchain using the BlockNet wallet and the XRouter APIs and cloud APIs without the SIA wallet installed. So let's go ahead and close our wallet and let's activate our XRouter. To do that in Windows, we want to go to App Data Roaming and then BlockNet DX. In Mac, you want to go to your application support and library BlockNet DX. And then in Linux, you want to go to your home directory dot blocknet dx now once you're in that location we're going to edit a couple of files so i'm in windows 10 here so i'm going to go ahead and open up my search bar and just type in my app data and go right directly to my data directory so let's go ahead and type in percent symbol a p p d a t a percent symbol now there's two files well, let's go into the directory first blocknet dx there's two files I'm going to edit. One is the BlockNet DX config, and the other one is the X router config. So let's open up our BlockNet DX. Very simply, we're going to type in here at the bottom X router equals one. And then we're going to go ahead and save and close this file. Now let's go ahead and open up our X router config. A little bit more we're going to enter here. We're going to open bracket here XRS colon colon SC render upload closing square bracket and then we're going to add a timeout timeout equals 300 and then the same thing we're going to open open bracket square bracket xrs colon colon sc renter download and then close that and then put a timeout of 300 save and close all of this now we'll go ahead and open up the blocknet wallet now you want to make sure your blocknet wallet completely syncs with the BlockNet blockchain again. And then after it's totally synced, you wanna wait between five and 10 minutes since the BlockNet blockchain is a 60 second confirmation time, you can wait between five and 10 blocks. So we're gonna wait here till it's synced and then we'll just count up a few blocks. I'm gonna probably wait about five or six blocks. Let's go ahead and see our count here. And then I'll speed this up just a little bit so you don't have to wait and there we go to 31. And here we go. 5 to 10 blocks, 32, and there we go. So we'll go ahead and go into our tools section now. We'll open up our debug console. Let's check to make sure our plugins are active. We're going to type in XR Get Network Services. And if we're synced, watch this. Look at that. All those plugins are available for you to use. All the APIs, all the clouds, it's all in here for you to play with. So we've got SC Consensus, SC Consensus Block, all the SIA necessary plugins are here. All right, so let's check how we're connected. Let's see how good and connected we are with SIA. We're going to go ahead and check to make sure our block count is exactly the same as SIA's block count. So let's just take a look. And look at this. It throws back the current information, current block height. It'll tell us whether or not we're totally synced with SIA's blockchain without having the SIA wallet installed. And look at that. So our current block height is 217201. It says we're true, but let's just test that. Let's open up a web browser here. We're going to go to the SIA Explorer. We're going to type in explore.sia.tech. Take a look. 217201. We are 100% synced. All right, so now that we're synced, we're gonna have some fun. Let's go ahead and see what kind of information we can pull back from their blockchain right through XRouter, right to our BlockNet wallet. So let's type in XR service, SC consensus, and then the current block number, which is 217201. Look at that, I've got all the details from that exact block, check out all the information there, just as if 
I had the SIA wallet installed. This is all through the BlockNet wallet, all through XRouter and the clouds and plugins, the APIs that are available. I've got all the details from that SIA blockchain block. Everything is there for us. So you know what that means? We're going to have fun now. Let's go ahead and upload a document to SIA. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and enter in XR service SC renter upload. I'm going to go ahead and upload an image to SIA's blockchain. So let's go ahead and get our URL. And we need to make sure it's the actual URL path to the image, not the web page. So let's go ahead and copy our image. All right, so I'm going to paste that in now. Now I'm also going to give it a user. There's our image URL directly to that location. I'm going to give a user right afterwards. So space, the voice is the user. And then I'm going to give it a subdirectory too. So I'm going to put a forward slash and then pictures. And then I'm going to name my file. That's xroutersia.jpg. And then it'll give me back the information from, look at that, right there. So it shows me that I've, I've uploaded the file. It's in the process of uploading to Sia's blockchain. But as you know, Sia splits that image and all those data through several nodes. So let's go ahead and check our process of the upload. So we're going to go ahead and enter XR service SC renter file. And then I'll type in the voice. That's my user. And then my subfolder is pictures. And then I'll type in the file name. And what we need to do, since the upload is in progress right now, we need to make sure our upload redundancy is at 2.5. Right now we're at zero. And then our process isn't it's at zero still. So now we got to check this. This takes about five blocks, five minutes or so. And this will get distributed through the whole SIA blockchain for its cloud storage. So let's go ahead and refresh. And look, now we're up a little bit. We're not quite ready. And now we're up a little bit more. So five blocks or so. And now we'll go ahead and refresh again. We'll wait a second here. And then we'll refresh. And sure enough, now we're at 100. Look at that. So now we can actually use this file. We can send this file around, this link around. We can download this file from Sia's blockchain. So let's go ahead and download it. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to clear that out. Let's type in XR service SC renter download. We're going to tell it to go to my folder, the voice, and then my subfolder, which would be pictures. Now we're going to download this to Pixel Drain. So I'm going to append whatever I'm typing in here with Pixel Drain. So it's pictures, xrouter, sia.jpg, and then I'm going to put a space there at the end, and I'm going to type in all lowercase Pixel Drain. Now this is actually being pulled from Sia's network, and it's going to send it to a Pixel Drain location for us to download. So take a look at this. This is going to kick back here in just one second. A URL. We're going to copy that URL and then we're going to go to Pixel Drain and see it right there. Look at that. So I've got the URL to Pixel Drain. Let's go ahead and copy our URL. Make sure you don't get those quotes in there. Copy that down. Now let's open our, our web browser. Get another tab open here. Paste. Take a look. It's right there. So right from my wallet, right through to Sia, right from Sia, download right to Pixel Drain. So let's try Amazon S3. So I'm just going to clear out Pixel Drain in there, and I'm going to type in S3. So it's space after the image, then S3. And then you'll see this come back. So this is, again, sending this message out to Sia. We want to download this image. And then it's going to send that image to the location on Amazon Web Services, and it's going to pop up the URL, and we're going to download that one too. And here we come. So now let's copy this link and open it up and pull down our file here. So let's go ahead and copy all the URL location. We're going to open up a web browser again. Paste. We're going to open this up in my default viewer here. Let's just pop that open. Bang. And there it is right there. So we've got X router right there, right with Saya, right with my image coming down. And it's all made possible with the X router using the BlockNet wallet. And you can use X router with anything. All the APIs are available. So 
X router connecting right with Saya, right to their blockchain, makes it all possible. If you go to the blocknet.co website, all the APIs are there for you to try and integrate with your applications. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, of course, you can visit with us in Discord. You can also visit with us in Telegram. And of course, always on the website, www.blocknet.co.